This is an energy store which is attached to a handbrake. The purpose of the energy store is to apply the handbrake at a certain point. The way the energy store works is there is a large spring inside and as you apply the handbrake and it gets to a point where the bar runs over the pivot point uh, over the centre it will automatically uh, put the handbrake on. At the moment this handbrake, uh, this energy store is restricted. This has a pin in the back which stops it going through full travel. If I was to lift the handbrake without these pins in uh, the handbrake would be lethal and if ever you're working on a handbrake on a Bradley coupling, it is always a good idea to put these pins in, uh, even if you put uh, nails or screws or something similar in, uh, because a handbrake that isn't restricted can seriously harm you or damage things around you. Uh, to change an energy store, it is quite simple. Uh, underneath the trailer, you have a brake link. This brake link would be fastened to uh, the rod that runs back to the brakes. Disconnect the brake link, which allows it to travel fully and allows your handbrake to move. Once this is um, held back you need to put the pins in to stop the full travel of the spring and once the travel is stopped you can just put, pull the handbrake up once it gets to the end point you apply it further as far as it will go and then the tube itself will remove like so and unhook when it's fetched over like so um, and to refit the energy store it is exactly the same but in reverse uh, it is possible to fit these with the coupling on the trailer um, but you can hit problems with the movement on the energy store being restricted with the frame of the trailer but most trailers it is possible to do uh, a new energy store will come with this pin fitted it will be taped in to keep it secure and once it's all done and the brake rod is reconnected the um, the pin can be released but do not do this until the brake rod is correctly assembled uh, correctly connected I cannot mention how important it is to put the pins in the spring as I have come across people that have worked with one of these couplings in a vice held like that that have pulled the handbrake over centre and it's thrown them across a room. I've also heard rumours of people that have had eyes taken out, ribs broken and stuff like that so it is always important when working on a Bradley coupling to put these pins in to secure it. There are other couplings that have different ways of securing. The indispension has a thread cut in the body that you put a bolt in which stops the handbrake coming up too far. Um, the, uh, and to release the tension there is a bolt in the back. Uh, the older knot style is the same with the bolt in the back but there's nothing to hold the handbrake down so 
it's recommended to put a tie wrap round to hold it to the draw tube. The newer knots have a black plastic covered energy store. This is oil damped and will not act in the same for with the same force that an untethered or just normal spring one will. So this doesn't need to be uh, secured. Thank <laughs> you.